Hey Head Squeezers, hey James here. So at Head Squeeze HQ, we've been following a bit of news recently that's all about a skyscraper in London. It's been dubbed the Walkie Scorchy because it focuses light into a point that's so intense that it can allegedly melt cars. So we thought we set up a live experiment just for you guys to recreate the same kind of experiment. The curve of the building is acting a little bit like a parabolic mirror, which are really good at reflecting all the energy that falls into it into a single point. And when you start focusing energy into a point, which is what's happening uh, at a few streets up from the skyscraper in London, you start to get quite intense heat. The sun kicks out an enormous amount of energy. In just one second, it produces the same amount of energy as one trillion megaton bombs. That's 400 trillion trillion watts of energy. So you can imagine just how much light is being concentrated onto that street in London. And even though there's some glare issues, it's the invisible infrared radiation that's causing the problems because of high temperatures. So to demonstrate how much energy there is in just a shaft of light, this 18 inch parabolic mirror is focusing all the light into a point. And we've got some heat reactive cotton that will react with our heat and hopefully set a light. Now this isn't something I'd recommend you guys try at home. Uh, I wouldn't recommend you set in anything light with the sun or in fact uh, anything in general. But if you get this into the right point, just like that street in London, it focuses the energy and it'll react with the heat reactive cotton. So that, that cotton really reacted with the, the energy that coming from the sun straight into this parabolic mirror and being focused into that point. So to replicate what's going on in London, what we actually need is a Jaguar. Now I don't have my Jaguar with me today, but what we do have is this little black toy car. And it being black is actually quite important because this will absorb the energy a lot better than if it was white. So if you live in London, you don't want your car to get warped, then a white car is best. To get this little toy car to warp, what it has to do is go back into that focal point. So I'm just gonna make sure my eyes uh, and my hands don't get warped uh, as well. But as this goes in, all the energy is being focused onto the car, and that car then will start to not only warp, uh, but hopefully burn. And this phenomenon will only happen for about two weeks uh, of the year, where the sun is at a particular point in the sky. But when a black car is parked, where all that energy is being focused, it'll obviously start to warp. And it's actually on fire now as well. Don't think that happened in London, but it's happening here. So that's what 18 inches of parabolic mirror can do. Imagine what a 37 story skyscraper can do in London. And to see what else you can cook using the sun's light, check out this link below of me cooking schmores. And if you've experienced anything like this before, then write it in the comments below and let us know. And I'll see you next time on Head Squeeze. Hello, this is Head Squeeze. Does your hair really go gray under stress? Why are things sticky?